Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my C-Sharp tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to first learn about comments, both single and multi-line comments. And we're also going to learn about regioning and what that is. Okay, so file, new project. We will just create a console application and hit OK and it will build it for us. Now the first thing we're going to learn about uh, before we learn about comments is regioning. Now regioning, uh, other IDs may actually support this, but how to use region is pound region, and then uh, you could name it whatever you like. Um, I'll just call this comments, because we're actually going to store our comments in here. And then we'll do pound n region. Now everything in here, uh, this is really useful for like, say, you know, you have a big block of code and, you know, eventually your source files get really huge and massive and it's very useful for organizing and breaking them up because as you can see, you can break it up and you have your comment right here and you immediately know what it is and then you can click it and bring the code back out. Uh, it's very useful for code organization. Okay, the first thing we're going to learn about is a single line comment. This right here is a single line comment, as it says. Anything on this line um, obviously is ignored by the compiler, and you can put these anywhere above a line, after code, doesn't really matter. The next thing is a multi line comment. This is a slash with the asterisk symbol, and anything below it until it ends. will be included so this is a multi oops, sorry this is a multi-line comment okay and they are also collapsible as well however we can just use our region and then we can hide all our comments right there okay so that ends this tutorial uh, in the next tutorial we're going to cover variables and slowly get into uh, more exciting and more fun things rather than well learning about comments isn't really all that fun but we'll eventually, oops, sorry about that, we will eventually get uh, into more fun stuff and we'll actually begin creating some games. So uh, before we end this tutorial, uh, I should mention, if you have any ideas for what kind of games you want to see made in XNA or learn how to make rather, uh, just go ahead and send me a message or, I don't know, reply on the video and let me know. Thank you.